You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bah. Tell me I hate to fucking go. Tell me I hate to It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. You see, we back with another Nukes Top 5, man. We back. Y'all been asking for it, so we here. This is five ghost videos that'll make you throw your phone. So if you got your phone in your hand right now and you're watching this, be, be mindful, you know what I'm saying? But look, you already know what's up, man. If I need you to drop with you in the chat, man, if you with me, man. Squad, if you with me, man, drop with you in the chat, man. I need y'all with me, man. And, um, yeah, so we here. Fire Squad. What's poppin'? Let's get it. Top five ghosts. Call on camera. Hiding in the closet. This next video was sent in by a viewer and it's one of those rare paranormal stories that's been around on YouTube for a decade, but not many people have ever seen it. In fact, in over 10 years, this channel has only gotten 66 subscribers and very few views. So let's get into it. Back in February 2011, YouTube user Steph posts a series of videos to document the creepy paranormal activity that she says she often experiences in her house's basement. But even as she tries to simply introduce her channel, things get a bit weird. Hi everyone, my name is Steph. Um, I live in New York and I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction to my channel, Steph's Basement 89. Um, Basically, I think my house is haunted, which I know sounds silly and I still feel kind of silly saying it, but I guess I shouldn't. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Um, it's mostly in the basement, but... Right? Did you yeah. or are you f***ing with me? Someone stayed at the doorway. I saw it. Ouch. Someone stayed at the doorway. So, can you... Don't go far. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So, as I'm recording to you, pardon my language, I feel like I just saw someone standing in the doorway, and so did he. No one, right? No. That was definitely a. Uh, mm -hmm. Bro, why the fuck she still live there? Sounds like someone walking around. Mm hmm Okay. Um, we'll be back. But yeah, this is an introduction. <laughs> a pretty good introduction to um, my channel. And um freaking out a little bit right now, but that's okay. Uh, hope you enjoy. Bye. Turn it red and shit. Steph and her roommate Sam both claim to see something off camera. And we can hear strange noises in the background. But of course, all of this could easily be faked. But trust me, things are gonna get much creepier. In this next video, we head down to what Steph alleges is the most haunted area of her home. The basement. Steph's little dog Bella seems a bit freaked out by something in the basement closet. So normally when I come home from work, my dog Bella will come running to the door to greet me or whatever. And I just came home and she didn't do that. And it ends up she's down here in the basement, just obsessing over this closet door. Um, she's never done this before. It looks as if she's waiting for it to open or she thinks there's someone behind it. Um, where it's like, she acts like 
she's acting how she does when she wants to get into one of the rooms upstairs. Um, but she hasn't acknowledged me at all since I came home, which is very weird. Damn. Bella. She's not even answering to her name. Wow. I'm just gonna open it. If I go pull it. See, baby, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing in there, crazy lady. Well, it's dark, but as you could probably see, there's no one in the closet, thank God. See, baby, there's nothing there, lady. Nothing, okay? Oh, she's back to sniffing it again. It's freaking me out. Come on, let's go upstairs. Over the next month, Steph experiences random noises from the basement and even some unnerving sightings of what she believes to be a supernatural apparition. She sets up a camera to record her basement room, specifically the closet. Her recordings capture many hours of, well, nothing. But then, late one Friday night, this happens. She got the fuck out of there. As friend Reese is casually sitting in the basement one night checking her phone, the closet door just pops open on its own. Now, Reese is a skeptic and doesn't believe the basement to be haunted at all. But still, we see her make a tiptoeing dash right out of the room <laughs> and we can hear her run up the stairs. She did. So she definitely seems spooked. So now, we cut to one night where Steph and her friend Rochelle are hanging out as it gets close to the midnight hour. Steph decides to record a quick video for her roommate who is away on a trip. What she catches on camera is absolutely terrifying. Are you videotaping? Yeah, it's for Stan. I see him. I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you, we'll see you soon. Did you see it? As Steph pans her camera by the open closet door, it looks as if an older woman in a white gown is just standing there, watching. When Steph pans back seconds later, no one there. So did Steph capture real paranormal activity in her basement? And just what happened after this? Well, we'll never know. Because you see, Steph hasn't posted to her YouTube channel since these creepy incidents. 10 years ago. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top 5, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. What remains? YouTuber and paranormal skeptic El Cubo Oficial was contacted by a homeowner who invited him to investigate strange paranormal activity in a house in Mexico. Years ago, the property the house sits on was a guava orchard. When land developers dug up the orchard, they were shocked to find the unexplained remains of two bodies buried in the orchard fields. What? One of the bodies was that of a young girl. A house was later built on this land, and the family living there has experienced nothing but terrifying supernatural activity. They say things move on their own. They hear the unexplained whispers of a child and they've even seen the ghostly apparition of a young girl walking the hallways. Yo, this one's scary. Eventually, the family just decided to leave the house. But the homeowner, Pipa, now claims that the house is so haunted that no one will buy it. El Cubo Oficial agrees to investigate the allegedly haunted home. Fuck He's that. accompanied by paranormal investigator Paco Santin, psychic medium Aurely, and the home's owner, Pipa. The investigation is streamed live to YouTube as the group enters the house and begins their investigation. And Nina! I, these motherfuckers. No, con esta. El más guardate esta paquita. ¿Me puedes tu lamparita? Sí, sí, sí. Guardate esa. Voy, 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 voy. Ay, no mames. Sí, Santi. Sí, hay algo aquí, güey. Aquí, aquí, aquí. 
<risa> ¿Dónde la escondiste, cabrón? No, 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 nadie. no te pases de verga, güey. Alguien, hay una niña aquí, te lo juro que sí, dijo hola. Hola. Ay, oh. no, no. La puerta se cerró. No, estamos aquí. Oh. Escucha, 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 oh, escucha. Hell nah, hell nah, this shit for real. Hola. ¿Estás aquí? Ah, ¿Qué pasó? Ahí está. Oh, oh, mames. A tu culo, güey. They getting scared. As Hablaron, ¿verdad? Pero no es un vecino, pipa. No. Oh. Aquí está una niña, aquí está una presencia de una niña. Y está muy fuerte, eh, muy fuerte. Hola. Por eso Sabes, pipa, debe ser un vecino que traes, carnal. Sí, sí, a huevo. No, no me no sé que sea un vecino, güey. No. Chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta, chécate en la puerta. Están hablando, güey. Están hablando. Eso no es normal, güey. Piba claims that he sees something lurking at the back door, and then they all hear the voice of a child from somewhere within the house. Now, YouTuber El Cubo Oficial is a complete skeptic when it comes to the paranormal, so he believes that the others might simply be playing a prank on him. After looking around and checking the back door, he asks all of them to empty their pockets and leave their phones on a mattress sitting on top of a table. This is to eliminate any chance that one of them might be simply playing a recording. At the exact moment that El Cubo Oficial is explaining to his live YouTube audience that he has a hard time believing in the paranormal, he captures something absolutely terrifying. Pero se me hace difícil eh, aceptar que hay una niña aquí, o sea, no es como... Mmm, si quieren que sea honesto, yo escucho una persona viva. O sea, si, si quieren que sea honesto. Sí. Tracoche, gracias por tu apoyo. Nos queda un silencio. Oh, shit. En silencio. Did you see it? Without knowing it, El Cubo captures the pale face of a young girl in the door's window right behind him. It's not until many minutes later that they read the live chat and discover what they just captured on camera. When they go through the door and look inside the room, there's no one there. So did they possibly capture the ghost of the young girl whose remains were found on the property? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch the full video with even more scary activity over on the YouTube channel El Cubo Oficial. Monster on the wall. Caitlin Nichols is the proud mother of two-year-old triplet girls. Hey, we're gonna try to get through this shit. But what the fuck? And shares her journey from infertility to motherhood on TikTok and other social media. Shit. Her TikTok is dedicated to sharing stories and videos of her three girls, and she has never posted anything related to the paranormal. That is, until one evening when the baby monitor in her children's bedroom captures something very creepy after the girls wake up from their nap. triplets are all watching and pointing at the exact same wall, and they seem to be talking to something that isn't there. Caitlin says that she has no idea what the girls saw and is unable to explain their odd behavior. But then, on another night at 3.40 a.m., her daughter Millie wakes up crying, scared of something on the exact same wall.
Little Millie sobs as she explains to her mother that she saw a monster on the wall in her room. So just what are the triplets seeing? Is it possible that they can see something that we can't? You can watch more videos of the girl's eerie and unsettling reactions over on Caitlin's TikTok page, 555 MPH, a triplet story. At a glance. Fuck. Josh from the YouTube channel Other Studios reached out to me about a friend of his named Cody. Josh claims that Cody was alone in his house in Oxford, North Carolina one day when suddenly strange things began to happen. Lights begin to flicker and he can hear the sound of things being moved around in his home. Needless to say, Cody is pretty freaked out. But he takes out his phone and starts to record short videos of the strange events to send to his girlfriend. Eventually, Cody has had enough and steps outside for just a few seconds to take a break from the crazy things happening in his house. After taking a moment to gather his courage, he starts recording again and steps back inside. What he captures is absolutely terrifying. Broad daylight. Nope, 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 nope. Cabinet out. doors have opened on their own and a chair has fallen over on its side. But most terrifying of all, a face can be seen staring at Cody from the top right corner of a doorway. Cody is shocked when he reviews his footage. To this day, Cody still has no idea what this horrifying face could be. So what do you think that is? You can watch the full video over on his YouTube channel other studios which despite the rather suspect sounding name josh claims is not a short film quote studio channel in point of fact josh has never uploaded anything other than this one video raid shadow ledge um scratch that the raid now this next clip is another case where i've been unable to find the original source video even after hours of searching the video is in Portuguese and was posted to Reddit by user Mr. Miracle BR. He claims that he found the clip on Twitter where it was shared by a Brazilian police officer. The video allegedly shows a raid by law enforcement officers in Brazil. Now I have no way to verify the backstory on this one, but the clip is definitely very creepy. Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. Cuidado, mano. Que que é isso, mano? Mano, não tem nada. Caralho, mano. Que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Bora, mano. He said, let's go. Vai, mano. Vai, mano. Vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. Vai, mano. Vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. <laughs> A door violently opens and closes on its own, freaking out the team of men searching through what appears to be an abandoned building. But did you see it? As the men run and the cameraman waits for the others to catch up, a horrifying face appears to quickly pop up from the edge of a door frame before disappearing back inside. It happens so fast that only when the clip is slowed down can the face be seen emerging out of thin air. But is it real or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. All right, so that was Nuke's top five, five scary ghost videos that'll make you throw your phone. That shit was crazy. That one was crazy. I don't know how I'm making it through these, man. I'll be seeing the comments, y'all be like, yo, lay back. The more you watch this shit, the more you can kind of, maybe that's what's happening, but to say I ain't getting the chills, I would be lying, bro.
But look, if you if you made it to the end, man, put a real one in the chat. You already know self love and positivity, man. Till next time, Fire Squad. I got you, and you know it. Hey.